And for some reason, Team Russia decided to use some magical Russian Vladimir Putin potion to take away their torso. The Continental Hockey League, or KHL, is highly regarded as the second highest professional hockey league in the entire world. There's no denying that the KHL has a ton of skilled players, guys that have either found their way from the KHL to North America, like guys like Artemi Panarin, or vice versa, guys who were in North America, could never really put it all together, go over to Russia and become superstars like Nigel Dawes. In this video, we are going to do a Russia Red Army All-Star KHL team versus the NHL All-Stars. I'm talking the best of the best from both worlds colliding in a regular season. We're going to match up points and then we're going to see a seven game playoff series. Let's have a look at the KHL All-Star team. First line left wing team captain, Sergei Mozyakin, who is currently the all-time KHL point scoring leader, 88 overall. You have to give respect where respect is due. 37 years old, still a dominant force in the Continental Hockey League. He's got 36 points in 40 games this year, 37 years old. He's the KHL GOAT. Centering him, you got NHL legend Pavel Datsuk at 40 years old, still doing his thing in the K, having a pretty good year as well. He's also the captain of his team, 28 points in 32 games for the magic man down the middle, Pavel Datsuk. Now on to one of the younger guys on the team, Nikita Gusev, who is currently having a fantastic year in the K, 47 points in only 37 games. His NHL rights are owned by the Vegas Golden Knights. Will we ever see him over in North America? Who knows? Original drafted by the New York Rangers, has 212 NHL games under his belt. That is KHL All-Star Nigel Dawes. Look at those numbers in the K. He's been one of the best KHL scorers over the last eight or nine years. And centering Nigel Dawes is former Buffalo first round pick Mikel Grigorenko. Spent a little bit of time in Colorado and in Buffalo, but now he's over hanging out in the K. 33 points in 34 games. On to the youngest kid in the entire team here. We got Krill Kaprasov here, who is a fifth round pick of the Minnesota Wild. There is talks about him coming over to North America, and from what I've seen, the kid's pretty nasty. Moving over to the third line here, we got Dmitry, crazy Russian name. He's got 39 points in 40 games. He's having himself quite a year in the KHL. We got Vegas Golden Knights legend himself, Vadim Shipashov, who is currently a point-per-game player over in the Continental Hockey League. And then we got left winger Brian O'Neill, who's found a good home in Jokerit of the KHL after leaving New Jersey. And rounding out the fourth line here, we have Linus Omark, Edmonton Oilers legend who once did this in a shootout. Right here, Omar against Ellis. The spin move. The shot. I don't know what that spinorama did, but he scored. We got Linus Videl, and we also have Alton in here, one of the only Finns on the team. They're around point per game players, still very worthy of the KHL All-Star team. As for the defense on the Russian All-Stars, they're putting up good numbers in the KHL. I don't think any of these players would crack a top four in the NHL, so I think the NHL All-Stars are going to trample the defense of the Russian All-Stars. Paul Postma, probably the most notable name on the defense. He has some NHL experience along with Victor Antipin briefly with the Buffalo Sabres, but really it's not that strong over here for the KHL on defense. Now between the pipes for your KHL All-Stars, we have Jakob Kovar, who is 25 and 3 with a 1.59 goals against average this year. Those are some unbelievable numbers, very worthy of being on this All-Star team. And then backing him up, we have Magnus Helberg, who formerly had some time with the New York Rangers very briefly. He is 15 and 3 this year, so both goalies putting up just insane numbers. Now that you've seen the KHL team, let's have a look at the NHL All-Stars. Ovechkin, McTavid, Kane, Kucherov, Crosby, Line, every single superstar that deserves to be on this team. The best of the best, the cream of the crop, the top shelf NHL players, Hedman, Doughty, Carlson, Burns, and then in between the pipes we have Vasilevsky and Carey Price. So I ended up doing a joint one-year simulation. I had the Russia All-Stars in the Western Conference and I had the NHL All-Stars in the Eastern Conference. So after one year, we finished with a record of 46, 29, and 7 for 99 points. So not bad at all. I thought I was going to see higher individual numbers for the entire year, but Nikita Gusev led the team in scoring with 69 points. Pavel Datsuk had 44. There was multiple players with over 50 points, multiple 20 goals 
scores. So all in all, not that bad of a year. Our goalies were awesome as well. Uh, Helberg was 16 and six, not a bad record for a backup. Now we had a pretty good record, but the NHL All-Stars were 74, five and three with 151 points, multiple 70 point scores. They were just miles ahead of everyone else. Andre Vasilevsky was 15 and one on the year. That is a ridiculous record but I guess they are an all-star team. But once the playoffs start, your regular season record doesn't matter. Somehow they got eliminated in the Eastern Conference Finals by the Boston Bruins, and the Red Army are off to the Stanley Cup Final against said Boston Bruins, and in game seven overtime, David Pasternak gets the job done, and the Boston Bruins win the Stanley Cup, beating out the Russian Red Army team. But to my surprise, they actually beat out the NHL all-stars which is absolutely insane I thought they were gonna go 16 and 0 in the postseason since we didn't get to meet the NHL all-stars in the Stanley Cup final like I thought we would I thought I would bring it to a playoff mode and I would just do straight simulation Red Army versus the NHL all-stars and I did it ten times each and every time the NHL all-stars took home the Stanley Cup we only won a maximum of one game per series all ten times it doesn't matter how many times I would have simulated it the NHL all-stars in my opinion are the superior team you got a Russian star of Genny Malkin you got Alexander Ovechkin you got players from all over the world doesn't matter they absolutely dominated us ten times in a row every single time winning the Stanley Cup and during one of those games that I simulated it went into overtime so I decided to go into the game intervene and for some reason Team Russia decided to use some magical Russian Vladimir Vladimir Putin potion to take away their torso. I don't know what this is, but maybe it was some sort of a scare tactic, but a super, super weird glitch. I just thought I would show this with you guys. Uh, it really was something I've never seen before. A bunch of players skating around with just floating heads and no torso. I thought that was kind of funny. I wanted to go more in depth on the games, but every single time I tried, no matter how many times or how often the NHL would always just destroy the KHL All-Stars. I wanted to make the overalls a little bit higher on the KHL, but unfortunately it just didn't help whatsoever. The NHL just has a much superior all-star team, obviously. I got some help from a KHL insider on Twitter. He's actually a supporter of the channel, so I want to thank him for that. I want to thank him for helping me gather the overalls. Go ahead and follow him on Twitter. Always dropping that juicy KHL details. But I want to know what you guys think. In like a Summit series, like they did back in the 70s, do you think that Russia could stand a chance between today's NHL All-Stars and the KHL All-Stars? I'm going to say yes. I think it would be closer than a lot of people think. However, I still think the NHL would come ahead every single time, although I would pay some serious money to see the KHL All-Stars versus the NHL All-Stars. What do you guys think? How many games do you think the KHL All-Stars would last against the NHL All-Stars? I'm interested to hear your comments. Big thanks to EliteProspects.com as well for helping me figure out how to spell some of these crazy Russian names. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.